Oh, Jesus, what time is it? Mm. No, no, I don't think the chickens have crowed yet. Or rather, you're right, roosters. Jesus, you're up early. No, I was going to get up and make some breakfast for both of us. Breakfast? I don't say the word right. Not naturally. I have to really think about it. And even then, it doesn't roll off my tongue right. It's just a... Uh, no, 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 no. No more of that. No, no, no. God, goodness, no. Last night was... Um, it was amazing. <laughs> I've never been made to feel like that before. I... Have I? Well, if we're going to be honest. No, I haven't. Why? Have you? Wow. No. <laughs> Just surprising. Well, no, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way at all. Jesus, you're so cute. It's, you know, we really shouldn't be talking about this. We both are leaders. You're going to be the leader of the Weird Tigers. Well, no, I know you're not necessarily going to end up being the ultimate leader, but you're trying to put your people back together, and the leader that does make. And I... I'm the leader of the Beastmasters, and i got to be getting back to my people. So we need to make a decision on what's going to be happening here, don't we? We need to be one foot in front of the other, and I think that that starts with breakfast. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I just didn't expect you to grab me. No, I do like laying here with you a lot. More than a lot. No, no, we can't. Fine, fine. Mm. No, we will lay out all of our cards. I love you. This, this has been amazing. I know that you are everything that I am not. And I know that in the time that I've gotten to get to know you, I've learned so much about me. You know, you, some people would see you as wrathful angry, uncaring, but I see it as passionate to the point of <laughs> extremes. Either you are going to give your life for something or you're going to tear it apart because it threatens the things that you'd give your life for. You would do absolutely everything for those that you love and you don't Worry about what the other side would do, say, about it. You follow your heart in ways that I don't know I have the strength to. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that logical. You care about yourself in ways you don't see. You say you don't. You say you have low self-esteem. You don't care about yourself. You hate yourself even. That's not true. You care so much about yours and what you deem to be yours. And once you find something that is yours, you throw yourself wholeheartedly into it. Whereas me, I don't know. We're the same coin, just opposite sides. I care more about the people around me. Everything else, because thinking about caring about myself. You would give your life for those you love. And I would give my life to have love. For me, sacrifice is a way of calling the things that I want in my life to me. You, sacrifice is protecting the things that you want to continue living after you. Those things already with you. That's beautiful. I love you. I will always love you. I will love you until the end of time. Until, really, when time has a new definition, I'll still love you. But it goes back to what we were talking about before we laid together last night. I don't know how we could be together. My people will not accept me being with a wear tacker. And you won't be able to live with my people. My people are not ready for me to leave them. And... While I'm so used to giving love to absolutely everything around me and praying, I'll get some back. 
that's not true. I do get it back. That's not true. You don't know that. You don't. You. You do not know that. No. I get it back in other ways. You know, kind words. People tell me I'm awesome. People tell me I'm amazing. And they thank me. Fine. All right. Let's define love then. Hmm? The ways that I prefer to have love back is just by having people remember me and talk about me kindly. And when it gets back to you, you're like, wow, okay, so I'm a good person. What is love for you? <laughs> well, you know, that sounds lovely. I do love looking in your eyes. I do like being around you. Ignoring everything. How do you ignore everything? You, you don't know what it's like being an abuse master. There's voices in my head of everything around me. I can sense everything's emotions, everything's feelings, and I have to find a way to compartmentalize all of that while also compart feeling what I think I actually feel independent of all the other data points that come into me. Yeah, some people call that empathic, maybe. But whatever it is, I just have a lot of feelings in it's difficult. But back to us, I don't know how we can be together. You are from an entirely different world than I. I don't think you could ever, ever understand what it's like to be a Beastmaster, even if we could get our two worlds together. We, you guys are solitary and nomadic and move around, and we give up everything that I know, give up everything that my people are. And run off with you? What happens to my people? What happens if they can't adapt? What happens if they can't figure out how to survive? What happens if my people end up being like the weird tigers, only more tragic? And it's my fault. I don't know. No, you're right. In a right world, I'd wake up every morning like this, looking in your eyes. My head on your chest. My hand right above your heart. No, and by my ear pressed here, I can hear your heartbeat, and it feels is the single most comforting thing I've ever had in my life. I slept so hard last night, just hearing you breathing. Even the moments that I woke up for a second and you turned, I look up, saw you, and I felt like my world was right. No, we have a mission. We have to go find the weird tigers, and we need to send them back so that they can come together. Well, really, you think you can put that challenge on me? I mean, the chances are next to nothing. They're not going to accept us being together. And what about your weird tigers? Won't they want little weird tiger babies? We can't make that. I don't even know what we'd be making. We'd be making some sort of weird tiger base master hybrid that could hear everything that all the animals are, but they can transform. I don't even know if that's possible. I don't know what we'd be doing. Well, that's not fair. There's, pl there's plans in this world. There's Everyone has a role and everyone has a way that they're supposed to be moving. And that's what we should be doing, is it not? Okay. No, you're right. Okay. Fine. We'll just do what the world... You're... <laughs> well, now who's teaching who life lessons hmm? So you think we should just let the world be the world, be together, and figure it out, and just leave everybody else on their paths to figure it out? Okay. No, we'll try it your way. If my people rebel, if my people lose it, then what do we do? That's not 
crossing the bridge when we get there is not a way of it's it's not no you're right there are very safe unsafe paths in this world there's no set paths there's just I can't think right now you're putting so much pressure on me you don't know how badly I want to be with you okay fine I'll stop trying to be tough I'll stop trying to just put my emotions to the side and I will just fine I want to be with you and you're right if my people won't accept it if your people won't accept it then I don't know what that's gonna mean I don't know what else to do. But you're right. This isn't the time to be scared. This is time to just do what we do. And, all right. No, you're right. Let's go. Let's go, shall we? All right. Let's go find these weird tigers. Let's go back to take them all to the base and have them spread out and organize them and have them go find any of the other lost ones. They're going to want to build a base and follow that plan anyways, even if they're mad at you for being with me. And who's to say we have to even tell anybody? They don't have to necessarily know. We can figure out whatever this is at our own pace. You're right. You're right. You're right. No. Thank you. I just felt like I was trapped all these years. I was raised to be the leader. I was meant to be the leader. But you're showing me what it means to actually lead myself. <laughs> All I did was try to get you to calm down and look at some altern alternatives. Seems like you've done the same thing for me. It's all gone in full circle. I don't know what's going to come of this life. I don't know I want to do it with you. Mm. I, <laughs> well, I think that's definitely going to work up in habitat, but I think I can, um, I think I can oblige. Mm. Hey guys, Zena Alexander here. Um, hi, so this is the next part of our Beastmaster series. For those who watched the previous uh, episodes, thank you. Um, Want to give some community shout outs to Mario, who is also a fellow Aussie. There's a lot of Australians on our server. No tea, no shade. Love me an Australian. I um, think the accent is very, very sexy. Uh Another shout out to, um, I think I did, do we shout out to Biggles? Biggles has been very, very, um, and nonsense and prism and soul dragon. Um, you guys are newer members and you've been so sweet and active on our discord server, which we are like a couple away from hitting 900. The link is in the description box below. Thank you guys a lot. Um, and also we're closing in on a million views. We've hit 800,000, almost 900,000 now, which is absolutely bonkers. Thank you guys so much. I never in my wildest year dreams would have thought that four months down the road, really? Four, yeah, it's been about four months, four months closing in five. We would hit that. That's like 200,000 views a month. That is insane. I can't even fathom that. And honestly, most of those views have been coming in the last month. So um, I can't thank you guys enough. That means the world to me. Um, and then I, I know I was supposed to do a cake for my 10,000. The cake person that was supposed to do it never got back to me. And um, that's a deposit gone. Um, so I'm ordering from another cake place. And instead of just $10,000, I was sorry, 10,000, not dollar, 10,000 celebration cake, it'll be 10,000 and 1 million views. So hopefully we'll be posting that in the community tab soon. Thank you guys who have really helped me get there. That is incredible um so uh inspiration for this story um a huge crush on a guy that is um that that had a very angry side to him but it was very tender soft and sweet um and really i like there's this lyric by uh terrence trent darby called i guess you heard my heartbeat through the noise 
love that song. Uh, it's called Holding On To You. And I love that line. And really this whole storyline reminds me of that, was hearing someone's heartbeat through the noise. Someone who just is has a certain personality type, but that's not who they are. It just takes someone to really be able to see why are they that angry? Why are they that scared? And really a lot of times when people are angry, they're scared. So I was pulling upon that emotion that I get from that person. And also, um, recently had someone tell me that I'm empathic, which a lot of people tell me that actually they say like I naturally can like feel other people's feelings and I tend to get overwhelmed by it. I don't know how much I feel about whether or not empathic stuff is true or not, but I figured I would put that into this, this character since I get told it a lot and again, wanted to, uh, continue on from the story where they we're finally together and they let loose because honestly, as much of a free spirit as I talk about being, especially if you're on Discord and we're in voice chats and whatnot, and I am pretty much a free spirit, there's a lot of things that I feel like I'm kind of locked into doing. And there have been um, several influences in my life that have made it made me realize I'm allowed to cut loose. I'm allowed to be free. I'm allowed to be me. And just because like, I was born into this family, but it's just because I have these certain talents, just because I chose this job or I have these skills or because I befriended this person does not mean, it does not lock me in to a certain set of circumstances of who I have to be. And I think that's just a good thing for us all to remember. Like if you are not happy with your current situation, it does not matter that you're born into this family, that you have this friend set, that you're born into this country, this city, whatever. If you are not happy, you need to chase your happiness. And um, yeah, so that's kind of kind of the story that Beastmaster's turning into is learning to calm down, learning to like look at, there's multiple different reasons why things could be going on, but also chase your happy, pursue your happiness. Anyways, I'm Beblin. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.